So let's discuss the Pact for the Continuation of Colonization. Now this was a French document that they got the countries that they had colonized to sign in return for their independence. Can you already see a problem? Under this agreement, you cannot buy arms from anywhere other than the French government. You cannot train your own army and the French army is allowed to be in your country at all times. All minerals like gold, diamonds, oil found in that country, the French have the first dibs and if they don't want it, then you can take it. 85% of your bank reserve must be put under the French central bank. They would then take that money, place it in the French stock market, and they have no obligation to tell you how much they made. Last time I did my research, I found that for every 40 billion that they're getting from Africa and putting in the stock market, they're getting around 3, 300 billion. So here comes the good part. So let's say the countries want their money back or a portion of their money back. Um, you're only allowed to get 20% and you need to formally request it with your bank returns and if you are approved then they give it back to you as a loan with interest and that money <laughs> that money was specially printed by France for that country and also France is the only country allowed to print your money and the language that your nation must speak is French not whatever you not whatever you people were talking before we came so to all the african people who think speaking french is a flex it is a flex it's just not your flex i can tell i'm going to get questions of so why did these nations sign it just look up what they did to the nations that didn't or refused to sign